Hey again everyone, Eric here again. Welcome to session two of the Coastal Dynamics program. Crystal Cove Conservancy and Crystal Cove State Park want to understand how the beach near our historic North Beach cottages is changing. Beaches are dynamic systems and it is normal for them to change throughout the year. If the rate of change happens too fast or if the natural patterns of the system are altered, this can create challenges for the park, for us, and for the public. The sand can erode too quickly, making the beach disappear. And without a beach to protect them from big surf or high tides, the historic cottages here also run the risk of being damaged. During the first session, you and your project team had the opportunity to explore the Crystal Cove Historic District and define the environmental problem that we want to solve together. Today, we're going to continue investigating this problem by developing a model of the beach system that we want to study. Environmental engineers use models to understand how different parts of an environmental system interact with one another. They can also use them to make predictions about the future based on evidence and past data. Today, we'll define the system that we want to study together, and then you'll work in your project teams to create a model that shows your ideas about how different parts of the beach system affect the amount of sand on the beach. You'll also start to think about what questions you have to help you refine your model and what we might be able to monitor or measure to see if our model is correct. Then, once you help collect data at Crystal Cove State Park on our virtual trip, you'll be able to use that data about those indicators to test the assumptions in your model and predict how the beach in front of our area of study is changing. When you're ready, go ahead and move on to the next slide to get started. 